Okay, let's get started. Thank you guys for joining uh, in on this uh, exciting webinar uh, for this month. Um, welcome. As you guys know, uh, we host these webinars on the second Tuesday of each month on uh, various topics uh, and introduce new programs within the marketing department uh, and uh, new news and everything that's going on within the marketing department. So the Own a Zip Code program uh, that we'll be introducing to you today has been a work in progress for a couple of months now, uh, and I'm excited to finally get to launch it uh, for you guys today and excited to get your feedback. So before we dive in, I'm just going to go over the program at a very high level. Um, this program will focus on several tactics to highly target a given zip code from all angles. So essentially, what this program is built to do is leverage a four-week time period and target ideal homes and ideal homeowners on their devices, in their mailboxes, and in, the neighbor in their neighborhoods uh, using the following tactics. So we're going to be uh, utilizing targeted direct mail, targeted display advertising, and neighborhood brand awareness, which includes signs and door hangers. So this program emphasizes highly targeted brand awareness. So for those who have gone through trainings, um, you know that we've emphasized the difference between lead generation and brand awareness. So, oops, sorry about that. Uh, the tactics of this program are by, by definition brand awareness, but because of the targeting capabilities, we're reaching customers that are potentially already looking for flooring or whose neighbors have recently completed a project. We're also coming at them from several different angles, hard and fast within a four week period, and therefore increasing the probability of having them book, a, book an appointment. So the goal is that if they are already considering a flooring project, that Floor Coverings International is giving them every reason to book with us over another company and giving them the face time with our brand that, that we're hoping for. So just a little uh, differential between lead generation and brand awareness. Lead generation are marketing activities primarily focused on booking appointments and brand awareness is marketing activities primarily focused on increasing the number of people who recognize our brand. But remember that brand awareness improves the performance of other lead generation tactics. So if you're full in on brand awareness in a specific area, this increases and improves the performance and the possibility that people will book an appointment with you through the other lead generation tactics that you're already doing in your markets. So I wanted to uh, introduce our partner on this program, uh, Choice Local. Um, and in order to execute this program, we brought them in as we believe they were the best partner to work with on this because of their familiarity with our brand already and the amazing work they've done to optimize our paper appointment program. So if you're on this call and you're on the paper appointment program, I'm sure you already know who Choice Local is and the awesome work that they've done. But with that, I will hand it over to them and to introduce themselves and walk through the aspects of the program that they'll be managing on their end and have them explain in a little more detail uh, how it'll work. Perfect, thank you. Can you can you hear me all right? Yep, hi Brittany. <laughs> hi there, just making sure my computer audio is working all right. Yep, uh, Well, thank you for having me today and thank you for the introduction. Um, so I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on who exactly are and what we do, um, but um, as mentioned, we do power um, parts of the paper appointment programs. We're very, very familiar with the Floor Coverings International brand and, and um, the efforts that the corporate team and, and individuals are making. Um, we do specialize in in-home in in service franchise-based businesses like yourselves. Uh, we do multi-channel digital marketing um, in the paper appointment program. We do search engine op optimization, um, pay-per-click, so from Google to Facebook, um, as well as some other website management. Um, and we are, you know, there's a couple little slides and things that we do and little graphics on here of what we do, but we're a very value-driven company and have loved working with the Floor Coverings International team and brand so far. They've done a great job bringing you programs such like this, um, the Own a Zip program, to really enhance your individual programs and what you're doing on the local level. So we're really excited about this. Go to the next slide. 
So there's two pieces that we are involved in. The first part is going to be the direct mail strategy. So within this, you're going to get a postcard customized for your local, um, for your specific location. There's an example right here. There's, I think, two other proofs um, that were approved by the corporate team. Um, so this is an example of what is going to go out to the ideal houses in your zip code. So with this, you're going to get 500 ideal homes in your desired zip. So 500 of these will go out. Um, and again, they are ideal homes based on um, data that we're going to pull from the CRM system. So through InspireNet of past customers within that desired zip, as well as layer in some demographic modeling on top of that. The second piece that we're going to help with this in the program is the display advertising side of things. So we have some examples of what these display ads are, are going to look like. Um, the phone number um, is going to remain consistent and I don't think that's been mentioned yet, but just so you know, we can use the same phone number that we're going to use um, in the following efforts that Taylor is going to mention. Um, but with this, you're going to get 50,000 total impressions. So someone who has viewed an ad, who's searching on the internet, um, an ad might pop up if you're looking at ESPN.com um, or, or sites. Um, they're going to actual, actually target a homeowner, not a specific device, uh, device. So they're actually going to be people in that ideal home that we're, we're targeting, not necessarily someone who's just on a mobile device within a zip code. It's going to be a homeowner um, that we've identified is, is being kind of related to your, your target market. And over time, we're going to test different ads and different creative formats. We have a couple different ad versions, but again, I just wanted to give you a sample of what you can expect these ads to look like as far as following your branding, as well as, again, including that number that someone can call. Great. Thank you so much, Brittany. Um, and we'll leave time for some questions at the end, but those are the two large facets that Choice Local has uh, taken on and will be managing on, on their end for the direct mail and the display advertising. The part that falls in your wheelhouse will be um, neighborhood brand awareness. So I wish I could hire people across the entire country to put out signs and door hangers for everyone, but um, unfortunately that's not in, uh, not in uh, the car so you guys will be in charge of that on your end. So uh, when you sign up for this program, you will also be sent 100 signs and 500 door hangers uh, to post throughout that zip code. Um, there, this is the part where you need to strategically plan out how you're going to execute um, as you need boots on the ground. So the point of having the signs and door hangers alongside the display advertising and direct mail is to fully dominate the zip code of your choice so that Floor Coverings International is the only company that they would consider when thinking about their next flooring project. Um, these materials will not be customizable as they currently are on Vistaprint uh, to your location. They will feature one tracking number, which Brittany mentioned earlier, that will also be provided on the direct mail and the display advertising so that we're able to fully understand the reach of this program and give us proper tracking data and give us proper um, knowledge on whether whether or not this zip code was an ideal zip code or not. So basically the tracking number will be what is giving us the information we need to be able to move forward uh, with zip codes in the future or if we decide we need to target a different zip code in the, in the next month. So it's obviously up to you which zip codes you want to target, um, but just know that the customization the only piece of the customization that will happen is your office information will be provided um, and your location name will be provided on the direct mail, uh, but on the brand awareness pieces such as the signs and door hangers, you'll be putting them out within that zip code, but it will feature one tracking number so that we're able to really understand where the, if the leads come in, that they came from this program and we can fully optimize that data for you moving forward. So you will also receive a map of your zip code as well as the ideal streets to target uh, when canvassing. So this is the aspect of the program where you need the boots on the ground, where you need to strategize and figure out how you're going to do this uh, and who is going to be part of your team doing this. So we want them to run congruently with the ads and the, um, 
direct mail so that when someone receives the direct mail in their mailbox or sees the ad online, uh, like Brittany said, they, they were targeting homeowners in that specific zip code so that they see a sign or a, a sign on the corner of their street or in the entrance to their grocery store, or they see a door hanger on their door. So um, we just want to target them from all angles and make sure it's a wholehearted approach uh, to make sure that our brand is, is uh, front facing with those consumers. So I've gotten this question a decent amount um, that people are not necessarily sure which zip code to target. Uh, we can actually run an analysis for you if you're not sure to determine which zip code in your DMA will be the most ideal uh, for this program. Again, it's a four week period uh, and you can decide to do a couple different zip codes if you wanted to pay for that. Uh, you can do one one month and one the next. It's, it's totally up to you. Um, but you, you may also want to consider running this program alongside a large home show you may have registered for uh, that's in your territory this fall because that could also come at it from a different angle where they have seen the direct mail, they've seen the ads online, they've seen a sign or a door hanger, and then they see you at the home show. So that would be a great way to kind of strategize uh, if you've got a large home show coming up in the next few months as well. So the fun question and the most important question that I have been asked is what does it cost? Uh, so the cost that we came up with and basically will cover all of these tactics, including the signs and the door hangers, all of the display advertising, which is 50,000 impressions within that zip code and the 500 direct mail pieces, uh, the cost for the program is going to be $2,000 per month per zip code. So you can target, like I said before, one zip code for one month, target another zip code another month. Uh, it is opt-in, opt-out on a month-to-month -month basis. Once you uh, opt in for say October, you're not necessarily required to participate in November and December and January. It's opt in, opt out on a month to month basis. Um, and because we'll be utilizing the same tracking number across all the tactics, we'll be able to provide data at the end of each four week period to assess the performance and then figure out what the best uh, move is going forward. So for next steps, uh, you can email me uh, if you are interested in participating. Uh, my email address is obviously provided here below. Uh, you will then receive a simple Google form uh, to include, to fill out, including which zip code you'd like to target and what information you'd like listed. Uh, so your, um, it'll you know, give you a field to put in your location name and your address uh, on the direct mail postcards, and then we can get you started. Uh, and like I said, if you're not sure uh, which zip code you'd like to run or you have an idea of one or two and want an analysis run, uh, you can reach out to me about that as well, and we'll, um, we'll personalize it for you and figure out which one is the best uh, in your area to run this program in. So at this point, I will open it up to questions. I know I went through that kind of quickly. Um, there was a decent amount of information, but if there's any questions, uh, now is the time to ask. Anybody? Okay. Well, if there's no questions, uh, you have my email, you have my contact information, please reach out to me. Uh, if you want an analysis done on your zip codes, that doesn't mean you're committing to doing the program. It just means that you're looking into the possibilities. Um, and if, oh, is someone chiming in with a question? Hi, Taylor. I do have a question. Hi. So um, I do know that there's a package that you can buy for $2,000, but is there any way that we would be able to get just the postcard itself for a direct mailer? Uh, no. So we are looking into other direct mail options, which will probably be available in 2020. But for this program, it's a holistic approach and we're going in on everything. So just doing a direct mailer for four weeks won't have the same outcome uh, that we're looking for in this program. So it's one cost, uh, one package, and that's, that's what we're, uh, we're, we're going with with this program. And then um, hopefully we'll have a direct mail program in the, in the future that if you guys wanted to do direct mail uh, on that basis, we can do. But for this program specifically, we're going all in on all of it so that it really makes an impact on that specific zip code. Got it. Okay, thanks. Yep. Any other questions? Okay. 
Well, if not, uh, be sure to join us next month for our 2020 marketing planning webinar. As I said, uh, these take place the second Tuesday of every month at 3 p.m. Eastern with the marketing team. Um, and next month on October 8th, we'll be talking all things regarding 2020 and the marketing plans that we have coming down the pipeline. So be sure to join us for that. Uh, and thanks for your time today. And thanks to Brittany from Choice Local for joining in. And I'm excited to get to work with you guys on this program. Have a great day, everybody. Thank you, Taylor.